Welcome back everyone. I'm here with another easy breezy weekend tutorial and I wasn't quite sure what to call this one. So I'm calling it a double policy envelope, but it's not quite a full policy envelope. These are actually two pockets in on one sheet of paper with like little covers. So in the past, like, I mean like two years ago, I had this little gift card album you roll up and you have these pockets all on one sheet of paper. So I kind of took that concept and made this and this will go great inside of just by itself. Um, you can add a lid or you can just leave it off. It's really optional. I'll show you how to do the lid and then I'll just show you, you can just leave it like that. You could even put a lid on both of them. It's really just preference. Um, I am going to make another one that's for like embellishments, like bigger embellishments, but just an idea. I saw someone do something like this on, um, Instagram, I believe, and I don't remember who it was, but they put something like this on their albums or pages and you can do something like that. So you can like flip through them. So if you're putting, um, you know, little embellishments or dyes or just whatever you're putting and you can like make a little booklet of it. So uh, this is really simple, but let me show you. So I did run into a problem. I'm gonna show you guys my trial and error. So I was like, okay. Um, and I know the little Maggie lovers are gonna love this. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna do one for Maggie. But then I realized that if you have it up, you can't put anything in it. So you have to like fold it back to get it up, which is fine because I can fold this back and it turns into like this double pocket book. And, um, it, it's really cool, but I'm if, if you're an advanced crafter, you'll know what to do after I'm finished with this tutorial. But if not, for all of you guys, I'll definitely do uh, one for you guys for Halloween or just one of the upcoming videos soon, if you like this one as well. So you kind of just like fold it back and it folds back easy because I scored it there. So, um, but it would normally go like this. You would have to put like a big gap here for it to fit. And it's fine if you have a paper, you want your paper like endlessly long but um you definitely have to make this a little smaller to work anyway <laughs> didn't mean to babble that long about that so all right let's make this easy little double pocket all right so grabbing a scoreboard here and our base our little back of this is going to be a six by eight paper so yeah you can use your six by eight paper pads for this too easy six by eight and um after that, we're going to score the six, six inch side at a half an inch and five and a half inches. What is this on? Why is this rocky? Okay, so a half an inch and five and a half inches. So that's just the outer edges. All right, and then we're going to turn it to the eight inch side and we're gonna score it at four inches. And that's where it's gonna divide these pockets up. Now, if you've been with me a long time, you're gonna remember where I'm going with this if you have um, seen that previous tutorial. Okay, so now we've got our little scores here. So what we're gonna do is you see this little edge right here, we're just gonna, we're at the four inch score, we're just gonna notch that off so that's where your little slice would be right here but i'm just going to make a little like triangle notch right there just because it's easier and i'm going to do the same thing on the other side all right so it should look like this and uh if you want the top to kind of look the same you can notch that off too all right so i'm gonna fold them all in and again, this is so simple. You see what I'm doing here, okay? This is too easy for any size paper. All right, so we've got that done. And now we're going to make our little pockets, which is so simple because I'm using two five by four sheets of paper. So the five inches is width, the four inches is height, just so you know for your pattern. All right, and we're going to score the four inch side at a half an inch. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I have two of them here. So they're five by fours. So with four inch side, I'm gonna do it at half an inch. And I'm gonna do this one at a half an inch. Hold on, let me move this that way. I do need it, but. All right, 
So what we're doing is folding that half inch right there. And I like to notch this just so it tucks in easier. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. Just actually, I want that to be in the front. So I'm gonna just fold it. And this is gonna be the back, wherever, whichever way it's folding. And all we're doing is we're simply going to glue this on. And we're gonna go like this. And we're doing it to both of them. So go ahead and glue the bottom on. Just remember it's it's always clogged, I <laughs> know. But um, like I said, we get mad at our glue bottles for actually working, but glue is in fact working if it's sticking. All right, so I'm just gonna do that little bottom piece and I'm going to pop it on here. Just make sure it's kind of centered. This one needs to go up. And then we're going to glue this part on right here. So if you want to add your little notch, maybe do that before. So I'll just add one right in the middle. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on. So I'm adding it on the side because you have extra space when you fold it in. So you don't wanna get glue on that. I mean, but how easy is this? And you could do triple pockets, quadruple pockets, however many you want. <laughs> And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. Same thing, just gluing this bottom piece right here. I think you guys will enjoy this if you haven't seen that previous tutorial. And you know, those who don't like junk and this paper is gorgeous. I'm like obsessed with it. But um, if you don't like this, use your Maggie. You saw what I did with the other uh, box. So don't be afraid to do that. Oops sure it dries. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. Doop. And do. And like I said, if you don't want the lid or um, on, you can just leave it like this. And this will go perfect in your little journals or whatever, especially if you want something that's going to stick up at the top. But of course, I'm going to do the lid with you guys so you have that option. So the lid is going to be a two and a half height and five inches width. So two and a half by five. And I say that because I think this is really important when it comes to your pattern. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I like to know that when I'm doing that. So, and then at the two and a half inch side right here, we're just gonna score it at a half an inch, just like the others. We're basically doing the same thing with the shorter paper. Just make sure it prints the right way because your lid is going to go this way. So you want it at the top rather than us doing it, I guess kind of at the bottom. So if you want a corner around it or whatever, you can do that too before. And I'm going to chomp that right there just so it doesn't give me any problems when I'm putting it in. To glue it on. And you're just going to stick it on the top, right there. And they both look beautiful, so it doesn't matter which way you do it. And I don't really feel like you need double sided paper for this. It'll just be white, um, so don't think that's a big deal if you know you don't have double sided. I didn't realize that about this. But um, and then of course, if you want, you can take, I'm using a three, five eighths of an inch punch right here. Oh my goodness, I flew on the floor. Using my little eyelet punch right here. And I had just done this and I messed it up. So I'm going to try this again. I'm using these little eyelets. I'm gonna use black. I hope I didn't make my circle too big. Okay. All right, so that's going on. I had a little blooper. All right, next, decorating. <laughs> 
So you can see it's pretty easy. I didn't do anything crazy here. I All I did was, this actually came with this two by two embellishment. So what I did is because I don't have any more of them, is I just cut out another two by two paper and it looks kind of like the same thing. You know what I mean? Oh, it looks like that was a little bigger. It looks like it's, no, it is two by two. All right, so hold on, let me get some of my flower dies first. I gotta see where I'm going. I mean, the flower dies make it really just wow. I really wanna use this thing. I saw it earlier and I was like, I don't, yes, I'm using it. It's calling my name. If you're on Instagram, I don't know if you saw the thing that someone sent me, it was like a, a beaver or an otter and he was saying, Michelle. It was Charisse, her name was Charisse and she sent it and it was really funny. But that's what I just heard in my head. All right, so is this upside down? No. Nope. So I got the little flower on there and I'm just going to add this on here. Did you see how how much print there is, but it's still like just absolutely beautiful. It's like, who cares? <laughs> it's not too busy. And then I just made a little ticket here. I just used some lettering and you know, how we did the tickets the other day. Or if you have a ticket die, use that. So I'm just putting some foam tape. And again, I am using foam tape for all of this. So I just add that on there and put that there. I mean, this is so busy and crazy. It's like, we don't even need anything. <laughs> but um, here's some of those, remember those layered pieces that came with the set? Look at how big they are and pretty. So I don't think that's gonna fit that way. So just to break up some of that black, I'm just gonna put that in there for you guys. And I added two more, so. Let me see if I can find another butterfly on here for you guys. I kind of wouldn't mind there, just to switch it up a little bit. I don't want it to be exactly the same. I'm just going into my foam tape here. And I usually don't cut my strip. I usually leave a little extra, but for some reason I did cut it off. So if you're using this, always leave like a little bit of extra, just like that washi and pet tape. Then you don't have problems. I usually never have a problem with that. But, and then again, you can add these little things. I just folded a sheet of paper and just put that there. But I mean, if you have this in a journal or something together and just like flipping through it or just adding these in your junk journals or albums or whatever, it's just so pretty. You can fit so much in there. And like I said, as an advanced crafter, you probably know what to do. Just put an extra score. Um, an extra inch on your paper and it will create this box but I will do um, I'll do that for you guys okay just so you know so anyways this is the fun little I mean what would you call it I call it a double policy envelope even though it's not like a complete policy envelope I don't know uh, it could just be anything all right guys thank you so much hope you enjoyed this